absolutely. Uh, I kind of like this idea of I've been called in to emergency marketing meeting. How do we sell the Democratic Party? You know, and you got to go over what were some of the errors that you made in your former marketing. One of these that um, I, I can't pass up is how. Like, because Naomi Wolf was one of the people who made me see this. And then there's conversations I'll have with people that I realize. I'm like, this is key to it. The way that the Democrats use journalists to so skew this idea of what were outlets worthy of, um, of, of, of reading. One of the things about NewsGuard, NewsGuard apparently is once again a number, another front for like Pentagon <laughs> approved stuff. But Democrats prog and progressives don't get, their news is now absolutely, absolutely Pentagon approved. All of their sources are in some way, their money gets to them because they're Pentagon approved or have been for a while. And that the real dissidents have been fundamentally these people on the right who are like, no, we're not giving money to any of these people because here, here's what they're actually doing. Oh, that source, they're making that up. That's a bunch of crap. So we were always years ahead on all the, on all the dirt and stuff like that because really a big part of this is these people who are the libertarians. Historically, uh, when you look at the rise of the new right, these were the peace nicks and the people who kept saying, like, no, you have to you have to take power away from your government. Like all of what you guys want to do politically, none of it matters. The only thing that matters is if you take power away from these guys. Nothing else is going to work. And it's been very, very interesting how that okay, that, that way of thinking has really changed the way that people on the right start to even think. Because one of the things happened was they were like, well, what about if this happens or that happens? Or what about, this? what would you guys have done in this case? So people started to walk through, well, let's look at what happened. In some historical instance of the government doing something terrible or there some terrible happening, and so they started to point out a lot of times without the government getting involved in the first place, some politician getting involved in making this, in making some social situation come to a point where people started killing each other, it would have never happened. If they hadn't wanted some, there would not have been some. And none of, none of the normal people wanted any. Now, that peacenik point of view of looking over history and saying, no, there's something about politicians and the personalities that, that those kind of people are, that that's, this is what they do. This is what they do to normal people. They get normal people to kill each other. And, and, not, and usually through some kind of chicaner, because normal people are typically not violent. As almost anybody who's trained in firearms training, the military, martial arts, you have to train people to be violent effectively. You know, they just, somebody will start firing their weapon and if they don't understand like that they have to think, they could end, just fire and fire and fire, not even realize they're doing it, you know. So they have to be trained on how to do that over and over and over again to effectively do so. So there's a lot of this kind of stuff that I started to really, I, I look back and I was like, to, when Naomi Wolf really ran into this, like where she's like, who are these people, the libertarians? She was like, my son was talking about this. And I'm thinking, Naomi, you're like, um, you're like 50 years old in this, you know, like 40s, way, way into your 40s. How don't you know this? But then I'm like, no. With it's not Pentagon approved information. It's not university approved information. It's not, and so it's not polite society approved. So like most women, she didn't look into it. 
because women don't look into ugly things. That's very rare. You know, they're, they're kind of our girls, you know, the ones who do the right wing research, like the woman who found the African uh, guy who is in the third Reich as a soldier, you know, stuff like that, you know, it's like, yeah, but anyway, there was alliances that could have been made with the libertarians who were peace next, but it, the Democrat leadership really showed out. They really showed what they were in the long run. And that, that, that there were peace and efforts toward it and all that. that there was, it never was a part of it. That's not what they really care about. And it's really sad that it's like that. But it's like that, and that's the way it is. All right, later.